Hi guys, I'm Nigel Gardner and I want to talk today about that pentatonic shape and exactly how we can use the BB King box to break away from it. Okay, so assuming you're familiar with the minor and major pentatonic shapes and how you might play those over a 12 bar blues, for example... <laughs> Maybe major as well, like... Once you've got used to those two ideas, you probably would then start looking at how you mix them together. So I might take a minor pentatonic and put in the major third. Now, the next step beyond that, I would suggest, if you're looking for something new to try, the BB King box is perfect for that. We've got the minor pentatonic shape that you're used to. Then the next box along is sometimes referred to as the Albert King box because he would have played. Okay, so the root for the BB King box is on the B string. Then we have a flat third, fourth, fifth, and a flat seven beneath. However, BB King chose to use a sixth interval instead of a flat seven. Which is mostly he would use it to play with a major third, like um, the A, B and C sharp. With that classic, very quick, uh, some people call this vibrato, like a butterfly vibrato. Okay, so the diagram you can see here is all of the notes in this area. We've got the root, second, flat third, fourth, flat fifth, fifth, and beneath them we've got five and six. There's a couple that are not shown here, like you've got your major third, if you just bend the second note a whole tone. And you can play in major then, you've got you might even want to try, look, we could try just thinking only about major pentatonic for a second, so... And similarly, you could then play with only minor. But you've got that that six in there, which just always gives it that, kind of like a Dorian sound, has a, has a sharp six in a minor scale. I do find this, this is not really, none of this is really straightforward because there's no exact way that you're supposed to do things. It's about listening and understanding when to use a flat seven and when to use a major six instead. It just adds a different flavor or, co or color to the sound. Um, I think it's quite cool to just use both really. Okay, let's check out a lick using this BB King box over an A7 chord. I'm going to attempt to use the major third and the minor third. Check this out. Leaving some space. You hear that? You've got that. Okay, this next lick is over a D7 chord. So we took the C and bent that up to the root note. And then we took a B and bent that up to the flat seven, which is C. And then you've got an F sharp acting as the third for D. And I finished on the fifth. Could have finished on the root, I guess, like. Now in that classic BB King style, we've got a very simple lick for the fifth chord, the E7. I'm simply going to bend the third, the minor third, into a major third. And then go from E to D, so from the root to the flat seven. From there you can go into the D again. And then back to A. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. That sums up three licks for this BB King box. Um, I hope it helps you to break out of that traditional area that most people tend to find themselves in, especially in the key of A. Um, remember, of course, you can, you can split this apart, so you might play in this new BB King box. And then go back to your, like, familiar territory. 
It gives you very different flavors and different sounds that you can hear. If, I, if the BB King box is, is focusing on that, that major six. And then the other one kind of focuses more on the flat seven. It's almost like two different singers in a song or something. It's a really different approach to the same song. So it should give you some nice variety in your playing. Um, I hope you enjoy it. There's some um, links to all of the hopefully quite helpful diagrams on my Patreon. They're all free. So please give that a look. It's on the description below. Um, I'll see you another time for another video as always. Uh, thanks for your support. Cheers. Bye.